Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you are a subscriber, welcome back and thank you for being a part of this community. If you are new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. We currently have seventh grade, third grade, and a five and three year old doing a pre-K level, um, but we are getting ready for our new school year. And today I'm gonna be sharing our um, the science resource that we will be using. I am going to be doing like a, a history of science, history and science combined, um, giant unit study or course with my older daughter. Um, and that this these are going to be kind of intertwined into that. Um, but I will also be bringing in my younger kiddos when we're doing these lessons with my older daughter. Um, so what are we going to be using uh if you haven't seen yet we are going to be using the science chunks from elemental science one thing you do need to know because i do i am a secular homeschooler and i do share secular resources this company is not secular however they say that the science chunks are neutral and the cost was fantastic for an entire year's worth of unit studies. Um, it was only $30. So I thought that the risk was good enough for me to go ahead and pick them up and check them out. And so far I have not seen anything that I would be uncomfortable with. Um, the only things is like they don't cover things like evolution. Um, and that's okay because I can create that unit myself. Everything else that I've seen so far through the ones that I've looked through have been A-OK -okay by my secular standards. Um, and yeah, so I think this is gonna be a really great resource. And I did look through ones like um like sci like uh, space ones and things where now they don't talk about the big bang but there's no other content in there that i would have been uncomfortable presenting to my children so let's dive in and give you guys a look at these okay so first up i'm going to show you this sheet but this you can find on their on their website um i'll maybe i'll link the page down below um but i did just print this off there's a year a and a year b i did go ahead and pick up both years because i wanted units from each of them um and like i said it's 30 dollars for let me let me i'm gonna double check real quick to make sure that it still costs that yeah um so it it is 30 dollars for the entire year for all of the unit studies so you see you get seven unit studies um in a year uh and so seven unit studies for 30 bucks to me was like a pretty pretty good deal so i went ahead and picked up both of them there is a year c that is coming out they are real you can buy these individually so if you just wanted to try out the science one or the solar system one you can just buy the solar system one to buy just an individual one they're about six dollars a piece so if you, you know, I feel like that's a really reasonable cost for these. I feel like you are getting your money's worth um, with these. So you can buy them individually or you can buy the whole year bundle for $30. Year C, they are releasing them individually as they come out, but they haven't released the whole bundle because they're not all out yet. So I am going to give you a peek inside um, the Mendel unit because this unit is free on their website they yeah. have this unit and a unit on pasture um that are completely free for you to download and check it out it is just like one lesson um it's not like a whole unit study it's just one lesson but you can get an idea of what the structure is like and if you would be interested in purchasing which i think is great i love it when companies do this um so i will be kind of showing you inside what the structure is like but i'm also going to show you i'm not going to show you all of it but i'm going to show you inside these solar system one so that you can see that this is a really good representation of what the what they look like um and i'll be probably be sharing um how i intend to use them um as well along the way so i wanted to show you on this page that it does have required books um this is a literature um based unit study so it does use books um to do the learning which is our preferred style of learning so it does have 
age levels. Like you can do this unit across many age levels. So if you have younger kids, third kindergarten through third, you're going to be using these. Or older kids, third through six. Now this says it goes up to sixth grade. Um, I still think that this is valuable, and then we will just pull in extra resources for my older daughter. Um, you know, more advanced resources, extra resources to make it a little bit more advanced for her but i think the bones of this is great for really any age um and so it does give you those required books but then it does in each unit it will give you you know like additional books that will help you that you can either pull from your library but these are the books that are going to be used over and over and over again um if you're unfamiliar with this like kind of style this is kind of typically how it goes like a build your library or a torchlight or whatever you're going to have a list of like books that you're going to use literally throughout the entire thing so it's kind of best to have them in your home and then you're going to have a list of books that are things that are just for a short amount of time which you could get from your library the ones that i have is i've had the um the us born science encyclopedia i have all three of them there's a science one geography and history um so this is the one that we're going to use it also does recommend the kingfisher science encyclopedia it says it's a required book as well i may or may not pick that one up um it is recommended in a lot of resources that i've been looking at um so it might be worth the investment but i'm i don't know if i can just get by with what i already have so i'll keep you posted on that but and then for year B, it says you need glow-in-the-dark constellations. And then for year A, it says the Super Earth Encyclopedia um, by DK and Smithsonian, which I might have. Let me look real quick. So I don't have the Super Earth um, by DK and Smithsonian, but I do have the First Earth Encyclopedia from um, DK, which probably has similar information in it. So I might see if I can get by with using that. If not, I will get the resource book if we need it. But I do also have a ton of resource books. So I think we're going to be able to find the information um, somewhere in what we either already have or we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm kind of getting rambly here. So let's move on. Let's. Uh, I'm going to turn you around in a minute and show you inside um, these these uh, books here. And then I'll meet you back here at the end. <clears throat> Oh, before I do that, I did want to show you this book that I just think is absolutely stunning. Um, it's These are the Welcome to the Museum, and I bought it at Costco, and I was really mad that they put the sticker there because when I pulled it off, it pulled off all the gold foil. But uh, the this one is the Planetarium one. We have a ton of these, but they are just so beautifully illustrated. And uh, do you need it? No. Are you going to get the same information in the... Um, the encyclopedia yes uh but i just think it's gorgeous and i um think it would be a good resource to have on hand and i already had it so i went ahead and pulled it for the space unit city so i might reference that later on okay so this is a look inside the science chunks from elemental science this is the again free on their website if you want to pick this one up um I this one's hot off the presses here so I don't have it bound yet but I will bind it um eventually but this is what it looks like so there's the copyright and then this is there's an introduction this these free ones only have one lesson um but you're gonna get the, the rest of the structure is the same you're gonna get either a lap booking or notebooking like you you get both options it's in everything has both lap booking or notebooking so you can choose which one you'd rather use and then it does each one does give you um kind of like a breakdown of what the each section is and how to use each section and then it tells you what's included this is all just kind of the same information in each one reading further this is the section that gives you the additional um books or websites or whatever other, other information you can use in each unit um and so these are all t happen to be websites within this one. Oh, and then here is where it says you need um, this book. So this book is specific to this unit, so they don't put it in their like whole year required books. It's not on here because it's not, it's not something you're going to use all year. It's something you're going to use for this unit. So you could pick this one up from your local library if they have it available 
cool. <clears throat> um, but that is where it says that this book is what you are going to be using. I have shared this book once before, but basically it's just the story of his life in a picture book style. And then it does start to explain the process of how he genetically crossed the peas. And then it jumps straight into the lessons. <clears throat> so this gives you the information, what, what you should be reading, um, and then discussion questions, which this is gold, guys. This is why I like having curriculum because I don't wanna have to come up with these on my own. It's already done for me. Here they are, the questions with suggested um, answers. <clears throat> And then it does see it does say that these two questions here are for older kids and these ones could be for anyone. <clears throat> it does include vocabulary. So if vocabulary is something that you guys um, is important to you guys, or if you keep a vocabulary journal, it does have the vocabulary here with the definitions, which I think is great. And then it does tell you how to either use the lap book or the notebook um, in each lesson. And then <clears throat> What I also think is really, 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 really great here is at the end of each lesson, there is this to-do list. So you can go through and check and make sure you've done everything that you needed to do. This is super helpful. I love that. I love the way that this is laid out. Um, <clears throat> and then it will include the, um, there's a quiz at the end of each, each unit. So the whole packet. There's a quiz at the end of the whole packet. This one happens to be one lesson, therefore there's a quiz at the end of the lesson, but in the other ones, the whole unit will have a quiz at the end and it will provide the answers for you. It also has hands-on activities in each lesson. Sometimes it's just one, sometimes there's a couple that you could choose from or you could do them all. So um, it does, this one is Lego Peanut Square using Legos to kind of mimic what Gregor Mendel did with the peas. And then it gives you your lap book templates and your notebook templates. So what I also think is great is it does provide what your lap book should look like when you are all finished. I think that is fantastic because sometimes people leave that out. Here's the cover page for the, if you're going to do the lap book, <clears throat> then your lap book pieces. And again, this is free on their website that I'll link below. So if you need to look at close, you know, get a closer look. And then if you're beyond the phase of lap books or you guys, that's not really your style, they also provide um, notebooking pages. So again, you have a cover that you can cut and paste into your notebook or, or you could just print out these pages and this could be your notebook. So, um, So this is just taking notes. There's a timeline. Everything that is in the lap book is also in the notebooking pages, which is great. <clears throat> then here is the activity sheet. Um, if there's like hands-on activities that need some kind of uh, worksheet, it will be provided for you in the appendix. And then, like I said, each one has a review sheet or a qu quiz or a test or whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> And so that is there for you and the answers were provided earlier. Oh, here's the lab report for the lab that you do. So as you can see, it's very thorough, very detailed. Everything that you need is in here. This one is a free and the other ones are around six or seven dollars, which I think. And then if you buy the bundle, they're even cheaper than that. So I think these resources are really really gold um so i am gonna just kind of give you i'm not gonna flip through the whole thing here um because it's copyright and all that but i am gonna give you kind of a peek inside so that you can see that the structure remains the same um you get your layout here are all the lessons that you're gonna do you have the student lap book and templates you have the student um notebook templates and then the appendix is where all of the lab and activity worksheets are going to be along with your review or quiz at the end this is exactly the same page in every unit. Um, and then it does give you the more of the resources if you want to go further. This would, this is what, you know, is going to help you with those older kiddos, taking it further. Um, and it does give you a list of materials that you're going to need, which is nice to have. Um, so you can make sure you have everything on hand. 
and then we jump into the lessons. So you can see here, this is what the reading assignment is for younger kids and older kids, and these are a list of optional reading um, materials that you can get from your library. I love that. I love that it gives you lots of options to choose from. You can get them all, look at them all, or you can pick one or two that you think would, your children would like, and you could use those. It does have vocabulary words, and it tells you what to do for your notebook or lap book. And then there is a hands-on activity and my little favorite uh, to-do list here. So I just love these, love these, love these, love these. It continues on that same structure the whole way through. And then I did not actually apparently print out the lap booking and notebooking um, pages. So I will probably do a little screen roll um, because <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't put those in there. <laughs> um, and so, um, that is a look inside of these. Um, just in case you haven't seen it before, I will show you a peek inside. <clears throat> so the solar system section of this, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, so let me go to the, this is the earth and space section and it talks, you know, here's, this is what this looks like. This is the, the, um, Usborne Encyclopedia, Science Encyclopedia. So I love these resource books. Um, they have a history and a geography one as well. These are gold. It also provides a little QR code here. Really, really great. Um, they keep these up to date. So you're not, when you go to these, you're not gonna go to websites that aren't available anymore. They're all gonna be available, but lots of things like little games or activities or quizzes or um, videos, things like that um, are all provided at these QR links. So you're not just getting the book, you're getting that, this resource as well, which is really, 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 really fantastic. So I think that's it. As promised, here's a little look at the lap booking and notebooking pages. So um, as with the other one, they do give you a picture of what your lap book should look like when it's complete, which I think is so great to have. Knowing how to set it up is, is super helpful. And then you go through all the pages that you would need to create this. And then you also get into the notebooking pages, uh, which is very similar. Like I said, you can either you know, cut and paste some of this into a notebook that you already have, or you can just make your own little books from these. Um, but it gives you in the appendix, the, the sheets that you would need for any activities that you would be doing, templates, and then the little quiz. So and that was a look inside the science chunks from Elemental Science. Again, a reminder, they are not a secular company. They are, this curriculum, they sell non-secular, you know, they sell religious-based um, science curriculum, but they also sell neutral-based science curriculum, and that is what the science chunks falls under, um, and so I feel comfortable using that, but you need to make your own decisions in that regard, and then I hope you found any of that useful. Is there, if there's anything I missed or anything, other questions that you have, go ahead and drop them down in the comments. While you're down there, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram at homeschoolology, and I hope you will come back and chat with me again real soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.